We're back again with another engaging edition of sports this morning, reaching you from Channels Television Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Thanks for joining in. My name is Austin Okunakman. On the show today, we are going to talk about what you are talking about, and that's the Flamingos' crucial game against Spain in the quarterfinals of the ongoing FIFA Under-17 World Cup in Costa Rica. And the coach of the side, Balara in Kiyu, has declared that he has a winning strategy in place to dismantle Spain for the semi-final ticket um, in Friday's quarter-final game against Spain. So that's it. The Flamingos defeating Mexico 3-0 to qualify for the quarterfinals, and now they're getting set to take on. They are getting set to take on Spain. Let's do football now and talk wrestling where um, 15 wrestlers are representing Nigeria at the Senior African Wrestling Championship taking place in Tunisia. That tournament will kick off today and will run till the 31st of this month. The coach of the side, um, Puruti Aku, says he's optimistic that the team would win not less than eight gold medals at the championship. Nigerian wrestlers there wrestling for glory. Okay, let's leave Nigeria now and run to England, where, of course, you know, uh, the drama series of the English Premier League continues. Liverpool, we told you at the beginning of the season, they want European football. This time around, it looks like they also want the title. Liverpool defeating... Uh, yesterday, defeating Sunderland by two goals to one goals from captain Steven Gerrard and um, Daniel Sturridge ensured um, a 2-1 comp victory for Brendan Rodgers' side. They've got their eyes fixed on the prize for the English Premier League. Let's play football and talk tennis. It is over for Novak Djokovic for um, Andy Murray at the Sunny Open in Miami. He lost to Novak Djokovic, so there is no chance to defend his title. That's it. That's the tone of um, the show this morning. Sports this morning on Channels Television. We invite you to join the phone. But before we get talking, let's take a quick look at how the Flamingos qualified for the quarterfinals of this year's on the 17th FIFA World Cup in Costa Rica. And we'll come back, we'll talk to stay. The game for the world is the message. And that's followed by the yellow flag of fair play as the anthem echoes around the stadium. Out into the arena come the match officials. Nigeria mostly in white and green today. White shirts with green trim. Mexico in red with black trim, black shorts. The rousing FIFA anthem plays these Nigerian footballers can make their way out. Viridiana Salazar, very clever, a really creative player in Mexico's midfield. Nigeria in white, get the game underway. Nigeria defence. Remember Nigeria, we'll see what they can do here. There's the overlap from Ajibade. Ajibade with the ball into the middle. It's finished off by Radashit Ajibade. It was Yakubu's break. Ajibade celebrates. Nigeria lead inside 12 minutes. The break was from Yakubu. Nigeria, there are six who have played in FIFA Under-17's Women World, Women's World Cup. They have then gone on to play for the Nigerian seniors. Oh, it's a excellent ball in. It's a wonderful cross from Yakubu. And Uchena Kanu makes it 2-0. Well, they celebrate with the coach. Two group games. Colombia and China know all about that, but they're finding it tough here against Nigeria. Lovely skill from Uchenakanu. And the header at the far post leads to goal number three. Yakubu with the simple task, and it's all because of great work from Uchenakanu. And they kiss the feet of the coach. <laughs> what a lovely celebration. But this is great work from Uchenna Kanu. And it creates a simple chance for Yakubu. 
Kanu with the ball in. And Bernal had to make sure that the danger was snuffed out. The final whistle goes. Nigeria will top Group D. So that's the story. That's how Nigeria qualified for the quarterfinals of the FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup um, taking place in Costa Rica. Tomorrow, 3 a.m. Nigerian time. You need to stay awake if you want to see Nigeria. According to Coach Balanki, you beat Spain. In his words, he said dismantle. <laughs> that this team will dismantle Spain. Remember, should Nigeria qualify for the semifinals, it will become the first African team to make it to the semifinals of the FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup. We can only wish them all the best. So it's first this morning on Channels Television. We invite you to be part of the show. And remember, uh, you can talk to us. Our feedback mechanism has not changed. On Twitter, we're channels underscore sports. On Facebook, we're channels hyphen sports. The Flamingos, they will take on Spain. Do you have words for Coach Bala and Kiyu and his team? You can talk to us. We'll see a way uh, to send it down to the team in Costa Rica. Give them all the support they need and wish them all the best as they take on Spain in that crucial quarterfinal game at the FIFA on the 17 Women's World Cup. Remember, we're also talking wrestling. Nigerian wrestlers, 15 of them to be precise, are in Tunisia for the Senior African Wrestling Championship. And then the coach of the size says they will get about eight medals. Nothing less than eight medals. And remember, that team, they're using this championship to prepare for the 2014 Commonwealth Games. Sporting calendar, very busy one this year for the country. And all we can do is monitor, wish them all the best as they continue to bring glory to Nigerian sports. Tayo Salam, it's good to have you on the show. Yeah, great to be here once again. Mm. Um, we're all looking forward to 3 a.m. Nigerian time today when the Flamingos take on um, Spain. Mm. It will be a very tough one, there's no mm. doubt about it. Mm -hmm. And Spain are uh, looking at the way they play quick football and all of yeah. that. Um, Nigeria needs to be careful. Yeah, very good, um, very good team. They scored seven goals in the, in the final group game. So that shows you um, they're very potent when it comes to the attack in um, setting. Mm. So um, the, the defense of the Nigerian team has to be very solid today. Mm. Coach Bala and Kiyo trying to make history. Tired yeah. with what you've seen with this team. Can they do it? Yeah, yeah, they have a chance to do it. Yeah, because so far, they've been getting better as, they are, as the group stages are, are, has gone on. The first game was 2-1. The first two games actually won mm -hmm. it by two goals to one. Mm -hmm. And the final game against the Mexico, we mm. all thought that would be the hardest. That would mm. be the toughest test. Yeah. But it came true. Yeah. Yeah. Easily, 3 mm. nails. So mm. I want to believe um, that winning uh, mentality, that winning culture that they've been able to imbibe mm -hmm. uh, in the group stages will help them mm. against Spain. But mm. there's, there's, no, there's, no, there's no doubt it will be a very tough game. And they, we know to, what, what to expect from mm. the Spaniards. That's the first game against China and the team a little bit laid back. They yes. came out in the second half, and um, but they couldn't get that goal that they needed. But then a 2-1, good one. But Tayo, let me, yes. let me just pause. The tape they need to go back to revisit yeah. is that game against Colombia. It was more of a scare. Yeah, yeah, that, that Colombia game was it was a scare. It wasn't it wasn't easy at all uh, as we found out. So um, I just hope Balanki has been doing a good job so mm -hmm. far, and um, uh, a couple of players to look um, to look up to um, to look forward to to doing the job for Nigeria. Uchena Kano, yeah. she she looks like a very good um, prospect. Um, she she's a very good player, good in the air and good on the ground as well. It's a very skillful player. And, Rashida Rajibari as well, so she, she's, she's made a name for herself. Yeah. And we hope those two players mm. um, will come to the party um, tonight. And interestingly enough, these two girls didn't go to the na last um, World Cup in Azerbaijan. As I, so it's a good one. It shows you that we have talents all over the country. And, Agreed. and uh, yeah, we, we, we just want to wish the, good, the girls um, good luck um, mm. tonight. That's, 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 all, that's all we can do um, as Nigeria take on Spain. Uh, and that's crucial quarterfinal game um, at the FIFA on the 17th. Women's World Cup. Uh, I'll just I'll just take a quote uh, from the coach. Uh, he says, uh, "We will ensure that we win this game within the allotted time, and we're looking at the possibility of not allowing the game to be dragged into a penalty shootout." Said Inki, who further reinstated his resolve for glory. Yeah, resolve for glory is there. And when, when a coach has that kind of mentality, then you expect it to actually um, trickle down to, to, to the players as well. Too. But then talking about um, penalty kicks, there's every chance that's going to happen because we're in the knocker stage now. And um, usually at this, um, at this um, stage of the competition, it, it gets um, tighter. So if it goes down to penalty kicks, then mm. it's a game of lottery, really. Mm. And um, uh, like I said, it's all about wishing the girls um, good luck um, mm. this morning. 
uh, when they take on Spain. Okay, remember again, um, the match will uh, will kick off 8 a.m. Um, 8 p.m. local time in Costa Rica, and then 3 p.m. 3 3 a.m. Nigerian, Nigerian time. Yes. time. So 8 p.m. Uh, th Thursday tonight in Costa Rica. Yeah. 3 a.m. Nigerian time. That's yeah. some good video. <laughs> we will not tell you the best way to do this is get your sleep in from about 10 o'clock and wake up from 3 o'clock and forget about sleeping afterwards. Mm. That's the best way instead of waking up um, and going back to sleep. You again. don't watch. You don't watch that that sort of game and, and then your team don't win. You don't <laughs> to get back get back to, to sleep. So You'd that's very annoyed. That's it. All the best yeah. to the flamingos as they take on Spain uh, at the FIFA Under Seventeen Women's World Cup. Let's leave um football now to combat sports. A lot of you know about it, but um the followership isn't as big as um it should be in Nigeria maybe because a lot of people prefer the entertainment mm. side of it. Yeah. But hey, there's a competitive uh, side of wrestling yes. and a Nigeria participating at a senior African championship in Tunisia. That tournament will kick off today and run till the thirty first of um this month. Tie a good one for the country again because yeah. It's a way, it's, a, it's an avenue to prepare for the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It would be very um, good experience and exposure for, for the boys, um, for, for the lads. And um, like I said, this is not really a coincidence. In the past um, few days now, we've talked about judo, we've talked about taekwondo, and it's all about wrestling. And, and when you look at wrestling, the name that readily comes to mind is Daniel Igali. Mm. He made us proud um, in, in, in the past Olympics. And hopefully these guys um, go to this um, particular championship and do well and help them get ready and prepare for Glasgow um, 2014. Remember, mm. Glasgow 2014, the wrestling event alone has 14 gold medals yeah. in, the, in the freestyle mm -hmm. discipline. So it's, it's plenty, plenty of medals to grab uh, in that particular um, sporting event. We just wish these guys good luck as well. Mm. Well, the coach, um, according to the coach, Puriti Aku, um, is optimistic that the team would not win less than eight gold medals at this championship in Tunisia. I also said that the team would compete in um, only the male and female freestyle events. Yeah, I just talked about it. Yeah. Commonwealth Games, 14 gold medals. Mm. So if Nigeria can go to that particular country. And get five. Five, yeah. You can <laughs> say, yeah, I would just say a couple, two. Yeah, that would be good enough because it will be very tough. The competition will be very tough. But they're not as tough as the Olympics mm. because um, obviously the Commonwealth Games is um, a couple of notches below the Olympics. But mm. I believe Nigeria can definitely do it. The talent is there. Okay, so let's say the team, they've been in camp, they've been preparing for this tournament because according to the president of the Nigerian Wrestling Federation, Danny Gali, they really want to use this as a part of preparation for the 2014 Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, Scotland. I'll come up later in the year. So that's it, Nigerian wrestlers also in Tunisia, busy uh, sporting calendar this year for the country. So if you're a fan of any of these sports, get busy also, follow your team, give them all the support that they need. Okay.